Right lads, so we've just finished our first playthrough of five dates. We picked Maya as the, we, we thought with our penis instead of our brain the last time. We're going straight back into it with a second playthrough and we'll see how it goes. This time I'm just going, I'm, I don't know who I'm going to pick. It's probably going to be the final person I might pick is Grace, but we're going to give the girl that looks like Jessie J. I'm going to, st I'm going to pick the same stats as I did before. So, so we've got an even, even foot. I'm going to pick the best profile picture, obviously. Uh, industry. All of them were hideous. We're going to go with other again. Interests. Right, we picked sports. Fitness. And the only reason we picked these is because we want girls to think that we're buff as fuck. And what was it? Was it food and drink? I can't remember what I picked. I'm just going to pick food and drink. Yeah, because last time we, we didn't pick partying, but we ended up picking the party girl. Uh, she, she was the most stunning one out of all of them. We'll go have fun and drink. Okay. Star sign. Can't recall. Whatever. Makes no difference. Right, so that's us. That's the same profile we had in our first playthrough. We are going to pick different girls. Well, we're going to keep one girl the same. We're going to pick two different ones. No, we're not. We're going to keep... We're going to pick one different girl. <laughs> yeah. You can now skip previously Seriously, viewed bro. scenes. And I just never understood how you could sleep until lunchtime. That's pretty good. Lunchtime? Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ferno Life has got my body clock battered, bro. Let's skip these. I think oh, we will so skip. I... We'll skip these scenes. And we'll just do the, the ones with the girls. Because, well, no, no, that's wrong. That starting scene will be the same, whatever you pick. But the scenes are going to be different because we're picking different girls. So that should be the only thing we need to skip, which is good. Okay. We did her last last episode. Great success. She was the Spanish stallion and she's stunning. I want to pick Grace. She's, out of, out of all the girls we've seen, she's probably one that you would actually pick in real life. Because she's like wifey material. But she's also a bunny boiler. And I want to see more of that. So let's pick Grace. We're going to pick Paige, even though we had a date with her before. But we could see what her... No, oh, because we would see the truth that day, wouldn't we? Um... No, what we'll do is... We're going to pick... Saffron... Oh no, we have to. We have to. I don't really find her attractive at all. Right, I'm going to pick Paige. And saffron, so that means we can skip the page ones, can't we? Until we get to the the new ones, right? And saffron's the weird girl, creative spirituality. This is this. She's gonna be a nightmare. Whoa, far out, man! Right, so everybody's accepted the date. Let's smash it, baby. But this actually, no, it is this time will be different because what I want to do is I want to see everything I think in my power that'll please the girls, so we can just get everybody's fanny wet and take them all on dates. Let's skip it this because we've seen it. Entirely, mate. The worst thing right, who are we going with? Drinking, and the other person I'm not going to go on booze. I'm so nervous. Not the first um, time. I'm going to go sober. Sober. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And now that it's over. See, this is the girl we need to impress. Let's smash this date. She is good looking like. She's a lawyer. Put me under the spotlight already. That's a tough question to open up with. She um, is this time. God. Just would think it would be like, yeah. She is my uh, first digital date. Uh, yes. Yes, you are, actually. Oh, that's cute. We're each other's firsts. That, oh. can, uh, that can cut both ways. Very true. So, on your profile, it said your industry was other. I was just wondering what you do. Yeah, I'm in corporate law. Um, wow. Right, so we know this. And you're a big sharer as well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like that's... I want to say it sounds good to me about the food. Thing. I really hope you're on the same... Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, I'm on exactly the same page. Like, yeah, what about we are. your skills in the kitchen? Oh. I obviously right. can cook up a storm. Can you? But We're going to be truthful. We're going to say it immediately like we did last time. Okay. Okay. You're going to say something to reassure me here? I've got a few dishes up my sleeve that have been known to impress over the times. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to fall back on that old cliche that I haven't met the right person yet. What about you? No, no, listen. 
cliches are often true. Question. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Tell me the answer. What's your so I want to see single for a while. Okay. You can be honest. Yeah. yeah We've seen this before, so let's blitz for? it. I am looking for a relationship. Oh, that's. A... You're always hoping that the other person. So. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Um. Okay. You've got my full attention, though. Let's ask about a story, because she loved that last wisely. time. Maybe just tell me a bit more about your upbringing and how you got to be such a high achiever. <sighs> Don't flatter me. Um, what about you? Are you, are you close with your family? Yes, we are. Uh, she liked that as well. I really, really am. Well, outspoken, that's just me. No, it's... I understand. It's just... I really... I... This felt really... Right, so look. She... We, this, we did that exactly the same we did in the last episode. She loves us 100%. Now, the one we didn't get on well with, I didn't really get on with this this page that we're about to go on a date, but I want to try and get on with her. So we can take her on a second date and do her truth or dare whatever game she wants to play. She is pretty good looking, but I think oh, that's something a bit Paige. weird. Hey, I'm uh, I'm Vinny. Funny enough, so she actually looks like a girl that I used to go to school um, with. A little bit, but it wasn't your fault. I was actually just on here like filming a live vlog. So I just hopped on when I finished. Oh, what? Like, um, like a, a lockdown vlog? Yeah. Do you know, I've seen so many people doing that on social media. You, are you okay? Sorry, I didn't say anything, did I? Yeah, I just... Where was your profile picture from? Because that picture is amazing. Um, so I um, I actually trekked to Machu Picchu. Yeah, because she was like... Peru? So, I know that guys also lie about their height on these apps. Okay, don't worry, I am actually 5'9". Okay, the 5'8 side of 5'9 or the 5'10 side? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I think I'd say I'm a solid 5'9". And that's how tall you are as well, aren't you? Yeah. I was just double checking. Okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Right, come on, let's, your, let's get... Your outfit's really cool. Have you just done, like, a workout or something? Oh, no, no, no. This is gym slash loungewear. I literally haven't been wearing anything else. We need to impress her this time. And I've got loads of it because I'm an ambassador of the brand. Oh, so... So you're like a you're like a personal influencer. Wow, like a uh, like on on social media. Right. Yeah. Last time we went curious. This time I want to go on compliment. Naturally, just just. Let's big her up. She loves that. Her, I guess. Yeah. I'm she not she wants the compliment. You're even more stunning than your profile picture. Oh, that's that's lovely. You just say <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Oh, she didn't like that. I didn't think we were going to compliment her on her profile picture because she was just like, oh, you're even more stunning in real life. And what she'll be thinking in the back of her head is, is my profile picture shit? <laughs> so, very welcome. I'm going to change the subject, if you don't mind. Come on, then. No, I just feel like when I'm talking about my work stuff, it's just... Well, let's not talk about it. It's a bit shit chat, really. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. We wouldn't want that. I'm happy to change the topic of conversation. So, if we weren't in lockdown, where would you take me on a first date Ooh. now really we picked comedy show last time she didn't really like that but we picked that because we were just being a dick i want to do a pub bar because she seems like that's the out, type. Mate. Come on. okay all right okay okay P personally i think that the best way to get to know someone is by going for a drink on the first date i mean call me old-fashioned but yeah we'd go somewhere okay have a drink i mean i'm not really a pub girl but no no but you know what? We could go to a bar. Okay. That would yeah. be yeah. nice. On a rooftop. Okay, specifically on a rooftop. Yeah. We, okay. We'd have to have a beautiful sunset happening at the same time. So you can take a picture. And of course, good music. This is all so specific. Yeah, very specific. But you know what? I'm not the hugest drinker, so... Good, okay. I'd we didn't find wait. out... You know what I'm saying? Maybe two and then you're done and that's your... We go Dutch. That's yes, let's thing. do this. Because that's how I do. I like to be healthy, you know. That's good. Well, Dutch. listen, cheap debt or not, uh, we'd go halves, right? Nah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck this bitch. I know I said I was going to try and like get into every girl's nick as right, but really, I'm just going to try and go for the blonde. Um, because I, I want to see her ending. But this is good how we get to see the different like sides of the girls' personalities. So I do, like, when I take a girl out on the first date, there's, there's a couple of tricks I've got. I either wait and see if she offers to pay. And if she does offer to pay, I tend to... I tend to go, okay, we'll go halves. 
Like, you know what I mean? If she offers to pay her half, I'll let her pay the half, right? Because you intend to judge a girl's character by that way. Or, alternatively, if the dates went really, really well, instead of doing that, what I'll say is, I'll pay this one, you pay the next one. So that's that, that, that's my tricks. That's what I use, and it fucking works most of the time, to be honest. Uh, actually, no, it, is. it works 100% of the time, because if the girl doesn't like going Dutch, going halves, then fuck that bitch, because she's not a 50-50 stake in the relationship, and I don't want none of that shit, son. So, there is quite a lot I've been wondering. Do you usually use dating apps? Do you know what? No, not really, but I've just been using it as, as a lockdown boredom cure, really. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the main reason would probably be... Um, I mean, we're all guilty of it, you know, and it's, it's literally the weirdest... I'll say meet new women, let's try this. Even before lockdown, I wasn't really meeting women that I connected with, no. So this was, this was kind of always on the cards. Do you know why you weren't meeting particularly cool women before lockdown? Oh, maybe you know, that was like, the wrong one. Like you, of course. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but like, it's not like there aren't loads of women looking for a decent guy Work. at the moment, you know? Because she's, she's, reason, she's, they just she's, haven't picked me yet. We're on the hunt. Locked down with work if as well. I'm really honest, just work. Work. Okay. What, well, like the work load or the women at work? <laughs> Were they not cutting it or? Probably a bit of both, if I'm honest. I can actually relate to that. See, I knew she could relate to that. I can't date anyone, anyone in my industry anymore. Oh, can you like, not? I literally won't. I refuse. Um, yeah. I mean, not only is it just we're too obsessed over the same things and it's just ugh, too much, but it, it, it really attracts the most trash personalities, if I'm being honest. Really? Oh, so I, she's quite self-aware. It's such a shame to hear that that's how the, your industry works. Yeah, people with big egos, people with like no depth, people that just think they are God's gift. But hopefully I can, this is a nice change. Yeah. Talking to someone who's- She's so vacant, you know what it is? I just, when I look into her eyes, I just see nothing. She's just dead. She's dead to the world. When someone, when you're talking to someone, someone's just sitting there with the dead eyes. Yeah. It's either two reasons. One, because you're fucking boring the tits out of them. Or because it's just nothing. It's just vacant. Bang. Nothing behind those eyes. That's what I get from her. She's own, she's so self-absorbed, self-obsessed. Fuck that bitch. Your usual world, you know? Mm-hmm. So it sounds like you've actually been uh, all on your lonesome during this lockdown. Is that right? Yep, you are correct. Yeah? Okay, cool. Lost your, your marbles yet? Oh, long ago. I mean, no one deserves to be cooped up in this flat for this long. Oh, yeah, I feel your pain. We've been locked up for a while too. Do you know what? I think it would be quite a nice idea to see each other's flats. Right, like this a, time. A tour? Or... I assume it's been so long since you've seen someone else's place. and I'll I give her a tour of my flat this time. Forever. Feels like it's been 10 years. Well, listen, I could give you a tour of my Because she own. doesn't show you her flat. You're interested. You know what? I am, actually, because it would be refreshing to see someone else's prison. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let me show you around. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is sort of my main chill space, if you will. and Okay. Trophies, because I think I was a winner at some point in life. Um... Again, nothing to write home about, but it's my home. I can see that. You know, the decor is a bit... Ooh, and I think you probably could have done with my help choosing the furniture, right? That is so... Fucking hell, shoot the man What's when he's done. <gasps> no way! No way! I need to show you the pause, pause. See that? That's mad, right? See that cushion he's got in the background, the red and white... Right, it's, it's on the right-hand side of the screen. It's a red and white cushion. Looks like a suite. I fucking had one of them. I bought it from Asda to go with a fucking white leather sofa I had. Um, it was the most comfortable cushion I've ever got. But when I got rid of the, the white leather set, I got rid of that cushion with it. Oh my God, I can't believe I saw it in a fucking game. That's hilarious. Look at it. Look, lads, I just need to show you. Look at the red and white fucking cushion. That looks like a sweet. If you see it, buy it because it's comfortable as fuck. The sofa. I'm just being real. Like, you, Do you actually think it's that shabby? I, I'm it's sorry. Cheeky. I, I know I'm being very honest, but... I mean, I don't really think you'd be saying that if you were here. I'm what? 
because this is one of the <laughs> comfiest sofas ever. This is exactly great. This is great for napping and it's good for cuddling as well and spooning. Hey, imagine if that was actually my you, cushion. You need to study on, all right? Oh no, no, I forgot. Oh my goodness, it's not good for ab crunches, so it, it doesn't actually cater to your needs. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. You've got me all wrong. Maybe we should uh, we should move on and I should show you something different. Maybe I'll show you my kitchen. Oh, wait, you've got to see my kitchen. Okay, yeah, oh, that's an important one for me. Okay. Um, this house so, is pretty yeah, cool. This is my uh, my kitchen and I've nearly burned it down a few times. Yeah, I mean, it could do with a bit of a tidy, but you know what? what? I would There's not more with that. cook something there. Yeah, um, it's good. Oh, it's a yeah. yeah. But show us what we all want to see then. What's in the fridge? The clean edge. Oh, sorry, the fridge. the fridge. I mean, you've kind of caught me on a good day because I just did a bit of a weekly shop. Um, okay, so what's it my... filled with? Um, would you say you eat clean or? My boy's got his shit together. Question, um, no, I don't want you clean. Okay, kind of I don't want you clean. Do I fuck? I think there. she does, but I don't. Um, okay, I have to be honest. This thing is usually filled with. Microwave meals, <laughs> maybe takeaways. Really? Not really. I don't really watch my diet that much. I kind of just eat what I want when I See, want. See, that's the wrong answer, but it's the so truth. if we went on a date, would you order like a burger and fries? Fuck yeah. If you're out in a food place, I would. Yeah, I would order the indulgent meal. It's really important to me. Oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, these women. Oh, I'm dying with these women. Oh, fuck that. If you want to go, what? If you go out for a meal, you obviously want to eat the fucking most indulgent thing ever. That's the whole point of going out because it's a treat, it's a fucking surprise. Like, if I go out, doesn't matter where I go, if there's a burger on the menu, I order the fucking burger because I love burgers. And if this bitch is fucking food shaming me for eating a burger, then she can go and suck somebody else's dick. I mean, would you rather be happy or healthy, Paige? Oh yeah, hit now with the happy healthy. Be both. Um, okay, She's probably listen, vegetarian let's as well. Let's go to the next place. I actually have a surprise for you. I think it's a surprise. Okay, yeah, cool. All right. Where do you think we're off to? Um, I don't bedroom. Know. Surprise me. The toilet. Show the the, the, the throne. At least the throne. Bedroom. Yay. It's my, uh, okay. It's my room. Right. Okay. I see he's got a nice house. The magic happens. Um, yes, obviously. Lockdown, obviously. Not so much. I mean, yeah. Not for anyone in lockdown. But post lockdown, I mean, I don't know if you, you play the cards <laughs> right. Then... Oh, you can do better than that, mate. Come on. No, oh, how are you? No, I'm not having that. You set me up for that one. Exactly. I know. I just I didn't think you'd take it. Fuck off. Let's uh, see, see. This, this. She's a write off. Lads, X. Press X to cancel. Close, shut down, fucking everything. This is not what you want. If someone sets up a joke and then you take it and they're fucking like, oh, I didn't think you'd answer that. Well, they fucking ask the question, you bitch. And go for it, really? Damn. Um, okay, let's. Uh... I would have been like, oh, yeah, this is where the magic happens. After lockdown, I want to have you in a five star fro frog splash fucking spread eagle on the fucking bottom of the bed. What, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Uh. Let's wrap up bedroom gates. Yeah, let's wrap. Okay. Wrap that up. Okay, and that concludes our tour. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not really sure if my decorating. Yeah, interior you don't know what you're doing, like, do you? No, <laughs> what? what are you talking about? No. Did you get the furniture from like a jumble sale or? Don't, don't, no. <laughs> this is good furniture. I'll have you know, this is good furniture. This house is painted nice. Anyways, um, I'm off. It's clean. Later, Spinny. What's that issue? What does she expect? But this bitch, this bitch is sat in our fucking bed. We know she's sat in her bedroom because last time she gives you a quick peek behind the curtains, right? And it's just her bedroom, right? This bitch is sat in her bedroom wrapped in a shower curtain. Like, and she's taking the piss out of my flat. Fuck off. Okay. Later's. Yeah, mo mate, she's a nightmare. I agree. Hang it, hang your head in, in sheer disbelief. That there's people like that that exist in real life. Right, tell you what, this is the first time we've seen this girl. What she called saffron. The reason we avoided her the first playthrough is because she's got pink in her hair, and generally that's a good indicator that someone's a bit of a fucking nightmare. So let's see if it's true.
Oh, I'll show you another one that's late all the time. Just probably meditating or something. I, bet, I guarantee this girl's a vegetarian as well. Oh, she's actually quite pretty. pretty. <laughs> Vinny! Oh, no. Hi. I'm so glad you're still there. Sorry I'm late. Oh, she... Oh, it, it's so weird, right? Like, she is attractive. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. It's... Yeah, sorry. I was just doing yoga and I, like, completely zoned out. Yeah, like, I, she, she she looks remarkably similar to her last I know. And while that last... At first, I wasn't attracted to her. But the more I knew her, she was quite attractive. But she's... N I don't know. I don't know, lads. I don't know. I just tidy this up? One, I'll be really quick. Alright, go on, crack on. Tidy up. Thank you so much. I have to, to wait. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna light some incense because. Oh my. Sweaty energy. God. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Incense, another. If, if anyone, if you go to someone's house and they've got incense, that's another indicator that you should just fucking avoid. Okay. I'm with you. I think it's pretty uh it's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you oh, been equilibrium. Like, keeping active or doing any exercise? I've been masturbating or... furiously. Like what? Just walking or <laughs> <laughs> anything, any kind of exercise. I'm actually just gonna say home workouts because that is true. Keeping limber. No, 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 no. I've been keeping limbo. I have. Um, me and my mates have been taking turns to lead. P90X, uh, the session. challenge is the tits. Every day. It's basically so, just pull ups. Wow. Yes. You must be getting a lot stronger if you've been doing like hit every day. Oh, there she knows what we're talking about. I guess so. I haven't really put it to the test, but. Yeah. I'm going to hit that pussy. You, you mean what, right now? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, come on, the floor is yours. Jeez, go on. I'm kind of backed into a corner now, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Just do it, man. Show, it show your muscles. Show your man muscles. Right, let's do this. I'm watching. Yeah. Okay, I uh, I did do a uh, workout. No excuses, course, mate. So oh, okay. sure, sure, sure. Do not judge, okay? <laughs> 20, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Show the right. guns. <laughs> Get the guns out, mate. Two. Oh, he's, he's doing, he's actually is. <laughs> More support he's doing the push ups yeah, pretty. He's, really hard, he's got them, Seven. his elbows close to his Eight. waist. They're hard. <laughs> 12. I did not think I'd be doing this. 13. Now you're as sweaty as me. 18, 19. Actually, what is she? She's. she's yes. Weirdly attractive. My I did not think I'd be doing that again. Right. But <laughs> a nightmare at the same time. She's too much of a fairy. <laughs> Light work. Evidently, easy, easy. wow. My goodness. I mean, you do know it's going to take a lot more than that to impress me, though, right? Oh. Really? I thought I was. I thought that was the end game. Yep. But uh, brownie points for humouring me. <sighs> Listen, I guess what I'll have to do for now, won't it? So... Ooh, take a breath. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, listen. Thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So. I haven't asked, what is it that you do for a living you know, when you're not breaking the ice? Just meditate. Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's really cool. oh my I've God. actually been a vegan for about 10 years. Oh my God. Do you mind if I ask what you eat? Fucking no, meat, mate. It's, it's a very important detail. I like, I like meat. <laughs> in pretty much every relationship in life. <laughs> you might not like it. You're a monster, you know that. Are you serious? <laughs> She's just joking. <laughs> oh, really fine. I don't God. mind if you're a monster. <laughs> See, that's so fair enough. No, it is. Meat eaters, then, yeah? Nah, not really. I mean, so long as the people around me don't eat it in front of me. Oh, see. That's... I was just about to give her credit. So close to giving her credit to be like when she's like, no, nah, no, nah, you just eat what you want. Like, fair enough. I've got no, honestly, I've got no problem if you do what you want to do. If you want to be a vegan, that's like all the power to you. Like, I've got no issues with that whatsoever. But if they ask me to don't eat it when they're around them, well, what do you want us to fucking do? Do you want me to go out for a meal with you and just eat fucking lettuce? 
like, mate, no, it's not going to happen. I'm going to order the biggest, tastiest, juiciest burger. And you're not eating it, so what's the problem? You know wherever you go, there's people cooking meat, so to have me eat it in front of you, what's the issue? Like, does that mean I can't even eat jellies when we're together, lounging, watching a movie? Because you're, oh, shit, she's a vegan, so that's even the most hardcore of hardcore. So she won't even wear, like, leather shoes, so does that mean when we go out, I can't even wear shoes on my feet? Because you'll be offended. Nah, I fuck that shit. Just out of respect. Um, I want to yeah, say. I don't think that's too much to ask. I eat what I want. Uh, that would be tough for me. Oh really? Yeah. It just kind of means that I can't be myself, and I don't True. think that's healthy. True. Well, it's a good thing we didn't start off with a dinner date. <laughs> good. I'm glad we stuck to our, our guns. Um, I'm on this app to find like like-minded people, or or at least someone open-minded enough to sort of embrace my wavelength. Um, do you think you are? Probably not, mate. Well, I just think it's thing is a bit pointless to proceed if like you aren't. Um, Let's tell you what, we're going to pie her off anyway, right? I'm not really down for that. I'm, I'm not on your wavelength. Let's pie her off. We'll do her another time. Yeah. Um. I think we might be miles apart. Okay, cool. Um, well, it was lovely to meet you, anyway. <laughs> and have a good rest of lockdown. That <laughs> yeah, is hilarious. You have a good lock. She fucking bitch cut us off. I can't believe that. She just cut me off, and I was wishing her all the best. Mate, be happy. You've just dodged a bullet. You've saved yourself a life of misery. Whoa, quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So, Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high achieving. Okay. Yeah, I like Grace. Very intense, but I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Yeah, listen, I could tell she likes me, man. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. The boy is out of the traps. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm. I... Yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. I mean, it went really well. So. Yes, man. Of course it did. I've got hoes. I got hoes. In different area codes. Surname? Um... Oh, we've already done this. This is. Grace Huckle. This is her. This is her. This is, yeah, this is her. Yeah. yeah, we looked at the pictures. This is her. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not lying. This is her. All right, all right, all right. Cool. I think she, it, like... Yeah, I, I do. I still stand by she. She's good looking. I like that picture on the left. Winding down with a beautiful wine. And she actually looks really good in, in Jess's birthday. Right, anyways, we've had enough of that. You get the lowdown on Grace? Uh, I think so. I think so. Nice. So, Paige was this... Uh, really She's the influencer, we know this. I thought I had this, but... To... So, Saffron, yeah, um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool what? hipster vibe. I didn't get a look at her. Okay. Oh, and... Do you know what, Callum? I don't know. I think that we were just on different... Pay we, we were on different planets, if I'm honest. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't working. I... It was tough. It was tough. It's okay, bro. Well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you liked so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Isn't that weird? Oh. It didn't give us the option to view pages. It didn't give us the oh, option to view pages page. Look, Saffron, we managed to get 0% with Saffron. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. Oh, do you know why? Do you know why it didn't let us have pages um details? It's because she didn't like the way that the flat was. What a fucking bitch! Yeah, because last time it let us view. Funny enough, it let us view pages social media page, but it didn't this time. But that's okay because we're going with Grace anyway. Oh, Fuck that know. bitch. I don't know, to stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings. Bro, I don't know, I didn't make the app. Just just answer. I need to think on it. Um, 
But listen, thank you for your help, and I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow, yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good yeah, night. bruv. <laughs> right, well, we're definitely going to take Grace, because I want to see her ending. I think we've pied it. Right, so we're definitely picking her. <laughs> we're probably not going to invite her, because we've already said no. We'll invite her, but she might say no. I think they do have the option of saying no if they, they dislike to you as is it low enough. Grace accepted. And we're going to get a decline in it. Oh, we knew. But that's good because that's fast track this playthrough to the one we want, which is good. Which is good. And if you remember correctly, this girl only likes it when like you're only talking to her. She's like mutually exclusive. So let's play this right. Whoa, you're up and having lunch already, yeah? Behave. This is breakfast. What's good? I got What's a good, bro? This evening. Ah, you got your A game ready? Yeah, listen, trust me, I need it with a woman like that. <laughs> Never have I ever. That is a drinking game, yeah? Make sure you got the booze ready. Not that you'd have much. No, on the I'm not you going boozy, boozy. Anything ever. Very funny. <laughs> 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 But you know what? Um, I'm not drinking, man. I'm going to go sober tonight. Oh, Jesus. And you call me the bedwetter. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. You earned that nickname yourself from Budapest, mate. Listen, nobody talks about that. Ever. Oh, OK, so 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 we're happy to stick it on me as soon as it's turned around to you. You don't like it. Hey, man. Some things just don't get talked about, yeah? Hey, man. <laughs> wow, oh, we're mimicking now. Very mature. I love that. Yeah, hey, man. Pants halfway down your trousers. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Pants halfway oh, down your get trousers. The hell of, get the hell off. Dribbling on the side of your mouth. Man, get off, man. Get off, man. Right, so here we go. Now, this is the, the video date, Never Have I Ever. I think I did it pretty well last time. That was one question she didn't like, but I'm probably going to do it oi, oi. similar. There you are. Hey, good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I apologise for the change of scenery. My flatmate's having a video date in the living room, so... Oh, okay. In the so living room. Downgraded, yeah? Unfortunately, yes, but it was her first date, so I just... I felt like she had priority. I, I look after my girls like that. Oh, do you know, I, I didn't know you had a housemate. Yeah, she's a, she's a really nice girl, but... She's a little reserved, and my outspoken personality can be a, a little much for her at times. Yeah, I can understand. I don't think everyone has what it takes to handle you, so... Yeah, I can be a little bit much when I'm stressed and moaning about work, but hey, I chose this life, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. What about you? How's, uh, how's work been? Not bad. Um, I've just been cracking on and counting down the hours. Never have I ever. So... <laughs> Uh, of course you have. Of course. Shall we get started? Yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be too nervous. Okay, forfeits. Should we just down our drinks whenever we have to? Yep. Come on then, let's do it. All right. See, she didn't like. I don't think okay, she liked yes, that I picked water there. That's why she pulled first. that stupid face. Okay, now wait, let's just have a look. Oh, no, she's still at one hundred percent. So I think once you get the one hundred percent, unless you fuck up really, really bad, you're not gonna lower it. Okay. Never have I ever experimented with my sexual. Nah, I'm a straight shooter, mate. Bloody hell. Oh, why beat around the bush? No. no. Come on. These things don't play around. I love uh, the women's. I like all of the women's. Gossip. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, sorry for being so vanilla. That's all right. Bit of a shame I wasted my first turn, but shit happens. Okay. It's a bit of a... You know what it is? I think it is a good question because... Right, okay, if, if I ask that question to a woman, if I say, like... Have you ever exp have you ever what what did you, what was the question? Have you ever experienced or tested your sexuality? Or have you ever deviated from your sexuality? If if they said yes, I'd be like, mm, I don't think it would be a deal breaker, but I I tend to think that if you were to test like you What's to stop you? Ah, but then again, I don't know, I don't know. What I was gonna say is What's it to mean that she doesn't feel the same and she doesn't want to be with a boy? Like, did, does she really know what she wants? Do you know what I mean? That's a bit fucking wishy-washy with me. 
Um, and I think, but on the on the woman's side of things, if she's a heterosexual woman and a man says, oh yeah, I've, I've flirted with my sexuality, I think that's a fucking big no-no. Because no woman in there, right, goddamn mind wants a man that wants another man. Fucking sorry they don't. They just don't. A woman just wants a man. It was your first time. Okay, good. pick me a good one next. Okay, all right, cool. I'm just so what are we asking? some wine, Vinny. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm nervous. What do you pick? Something nice. Now we're gonna pick the Dundrugs okay. one because this is good because this is where I'm we find sorry. out she's a straight shooter. Please. I'm a lady. Okay, this one's always interesting. Never have I ever. And we know she hasn't. Drugs. No, not my style. Never tried. No, alcohol is enough of a vice for me, to be honest. And uh, I smoked a little bit at uni, but yeah, that's about as far as it went. Just smoked cigarettes or? Yeah, a few ciggies here and there, but that is about as wild as it's been for me. Okay, nice. Okay, it's my turn again. Let me choose you a good question. Okay, tell the computer to be Yeah, honest. like with, with girls that like smoke cigarettes, I don't know, I just find it vile. Honestly, it's the biggest, It's well, it's not the biggest turn off, it's one of the biggest turn offs because I just think, like, no, like if you. No, like when you're out and about and you're just standing, you're just watching, you're just people watching. Whenever I see someone with a cigarette in their mouth, I just think, oh, you fucking absolute scum of the earth. I said, it's just the way I am. I, I, I'm not even apologising for it. I don't apologise for it. I look at them, I just think, oh, you fucking disgusting. Yeah. No. Uh, <sighs> never have I ever fancied a friend's partner. Now, uh, she didn't like my answer to this yeah, last yeah, time, so I'm going to say no. I would. Never, uh, yeah. never fancied a friend's partner. Oh gosh. Even though this I do, even though I do. Good. Do you know what? I can't say it's ever happened. Could it? What? Could I fancy never. a friend's partner? Well. Because she wouldn't ever. Not. I, it would sort of be emotional betrayal, wouldn't it? My god, yeah, that's exactly what I think. Oh yeah. Alright, we're on the same page. I'm glad. Oh my god, I just got her funny wet. Okay, my turn. All right, let's, okay. Okay, let's see what I've got for you. Sent nudes. Okay, I'm going to go for... This went all right last time. Never have I ever sent nudes. No, no. Strict no nudes policy. Uh, I just think in this day and age, it's just way too risky. And I've seen <laughs> and heard so many stories of people getting their lives ruined. And I just do not want to have that. Yeah. Yeah. No fair, that makes total sense. And to be fair, I've never sent one either. <laughs> I've never asked for one. Male nudes do absolutely nothing for me. Like, I don't think they do for women because like men are more visual than women. It's not a good look. It's not good. Oh, anyway. Okay, you haven't even seen my pictures. For <laughs> sorry, hon. Like honestly, I think for men, right? For men, it 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 is the shape of things that like gets them off. Because sometimes you might just see like a a close-up of a peach and just be like oh that looks like a nice ass I, I could probably not want out over a peach but I honestly could like if i see if i see two like light bulbs at the correct angle that look like a pair of breasts i probably could masturbate quite easily to it anyway so i think it's your go next okay never have i ever said i love you and not meant it never oh. We're seeing all the right things. Wow, what are you going to say? I've never done that, honestly. Never. Okay, that's good. They're the three most important words in the human language, right? They're, they're pretty hefty. I don't agree with that, are but they? we're trying to like make her a bit wet, so yeah, we do agree. Big pause here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too important of a statement to make falsely, and it's just so not fair on the other person for you to just throw those words out there. And then to not mean it. They're huge. They have gravity. Oh, she's biting they the lip. They do. I'm glad you're agreeing with me on this. Touching the head, chin down, you know eyes up. There. She's loving it. Yeah, it didn't really take off, did it? I think I'm more boring than I thought. But I like boring. Possibly. I'm definitely too sober anyway. Yeah. Completely sober over here. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? 
Oh, it was really good. Thanks for remembering and asking. Yeah, it was so nice to see everyone. I forgot how much I missed the girls. And big question, did the birthday girl appreciate it? Yeah, she cried. Bless her. It set us all off. I just think there was a lot of alcohol involved and, you know, we were all feeling very emotional. But yeah, it was fun. Oh, listen, I'm glad to hear it. So, I've got a question. Go for it. Come on, then. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier and I way prefer it. Okay, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? I think you can. Oh, that's hard to But tell. not for too long. Uh, I think you can. Mm -hmm. Is it? To be honest, I'm pretty chill about the whole situation in that respect. Some of my friends are losing their mind over it. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, same. I think uh, I think people are obviously getting really thirsty, but, you know, I'd wait if, I, if it was for the right connection. That's good to hear. Not something you'd expect from a 20-something-year-old. So... Shh. Oh, my flatmate's just finished a date. I better go and debrief. OK, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway, so... Very true. Well, listen, I'm, uh... She is quite uh, brutal, like, I don't know, like... Do you know if someone shushed me in real life, I'd be like, excuse me? <laughs> to fucking... Fucking shh me. And just because you fucking... I don't know. I, I, I've never really subscribed to the... Ho the, the what was it? Bros before hoes. Or hoes before bros. Like, I, I know, like, you've got friends and stuff. But at the same time, like, you you've... That's your partner, you know what I mean? Your, your potential future partner. So I think you deal with every situation based on that situation's urgency, you know what I mean? So you wouldn't always just pick your bros over your your girlfriend and you wouldn't do that vice versa. To stick to one code is just fucking pathetic. I think it, it, you've got to judge, judge each situation individually. But, like, because she's, like, jumping up just to find out what, what her, like, best friend's, like, been up to on her first date, I just think, like... Which, in real life, this is, obviously. Is, was she really invested in chatting me up or was she just fucking not interested at all? Like, I don't know. I think that's a, a bit It's a bit of a weird one. Like, if I go on a date with someone, they've got 100... I, I'm courteous enough to give whoever I'm on a date with 100% of my attention for the time that we have together. If someone doesn't give me that back, then I'm fucking not really interested, to be honest. I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon? I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Yeah, I think she might just be a little bit too much up on so, her off. how are you feeling about Grace? OK, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I, Callum, I just love that about her. Uh, hey, uh, hey, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. It yeah. feels that way. It felt so it looks like we're now going to go on to our third and final date with her. And we don't have a choice because we pie the other two girls off. Catch. You <laughs> gas me up, man. No doubt it's made you soft. You are... Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh, my <laughs> God. We're talking about a date that you went on, and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be Come on, I want some of that gangster. Propositioning me. I want some of that Nate dog. Anyway, man, get some rest, you know. We need to regulate. Z we need to regulate with our mate. Thank you for the right, let's pass that on. Okay, so this is it. We're going raw dog into the, the final date. And we've only got... It's funny how you can't actually decline it and just go solo. Go hand solo. Right, that's it. We're going with Grace. Let's see if we can seal the deal. Yeah, she accepts. She better accept. She was loving it. Come on, don't keep us in suspense. Yeah, she accepted. Of course, it's she the did. Big dinner tonight, boy. Yeah, boy. What's on the menu, man? Have you guys coordinated? He's so, making pasta. Well, it was coordinated by Grace that we should both cook the same thing. Ah, initiative. Yeah, listen, that's her middle name, man. But she's um, she's got me cooking a spaghetti carbonara, but the the proper Italian way. And when I say this thing is so complicated, so she better be impressed if I pull this off. Uh, mate. 
I've got something to tell you. Oh, uh, do you know what? We always suspect. I got a big dick. Really? Seriously. What? What's what's happened? Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Wow. Okay. Oh shit! Mm. So what? Oh, she's the fucking player. I didn't realize it was your grace until I properly checked her profile, man. Did but I mean, did she see that? Have you date or anything? Of course not, bro. I... Oh, but no, no. All she said was this was her first date. It might be true, but if that did happen to me, I wouldn't even be bothered. Because at the end of the day, you're fighting in a world full of other people that's trying to get that nice sweet poontang. You've just got to be the best. It's survival of the fittest. You can't be mad at it. Just get better. I just wanted to tell you, innit? I'm going to unmatch her as soon as possible. It's fine if she's still chatting to other people, right? Because of course it is. I mean, it's still so early. I'd say so, man. And you must be top of the power as well. So... Obviously, like, date three is something. It's nothing, man. Bro, if this was in real life, an in-person date, you would be having to escalate things right now. Well, listen, obviously that's off the table <laughs> because we're not in person, so how am I going to escalate there's, things? There's got to be a way to do it. Okay, listen, I'll play it by ear, see what her vibe is, and... I know how to escalate it. What we'll do is we'll just... We'll just commit murder and then she can lawyer our arse off. Unconventional. Good luck. Oh, listen, we'll chat later. Debrief, yeah? Uh, yeah, great. Give us a bell, but um, if you call later on, I might not answer. What do you mean? Why? What's going on? <laughs> He's got a deal, hasn't he? <laughs> well, your boy's only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, hasn't he? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you serious? Go on, oh, son. Well, who, when, where? Tell me. Tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me, tell me. whoa, 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 bro. Oh, we never find out. I know with these sort of things, man. Asking too many questions and that. Come on, All right, man. okay, do you know what? I won't pry anymore. <laughs> I'll let you go and enjoy this day and then call me or something. We'll debrief properly at some point, yeah? All right, then cool, bro. I'll give you a bell soon, innit? Cool, man. Shit. Yeah, catch you later. yeah we uh, never ever find out who, he, gets, who he goes on a date with because it, it doesn't show you at the end of the game. Right, this is it. This is it, the finale. Let's smash them sugar walls. Grace, wow, you look... Oh, she's got the cleavage out. Uh, you, you look amazing. She does. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands, and I only wear them on special occasions. So oh, she's got the pearl, pearl headband. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it. I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh my god, if I do say so myself, that is divine. She's got a nice house right, as well. Let's see yours, let's be having it. Okay, boom. That looks solid. Give it a taste. Okay, cool. I think you can tell a lot about a person by the house because I don't like being with filthy bitches. Yeah. Not Pull at all. It up. Yeah. Put it down, yeah. It's solid. It's probably not like my standard, but it's edible. Okay, acceptable. That's <laughs> what we'd call it then. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that word instead. Yeah, no, I can eat this. Nice. Oh. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post lockdown. Agreed. Yeah. Some nice food, maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good. Who's movie, cooking? Some ice Definitely. cream or dessert, something romantic, the full works. Out of me and you, who's cooking? Good I answer. Meant at a restaurant. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, but I prefer your suggestion. I guess either of us could cook, but um, what about after dinner? Oh, okay, oh, so I've shit. always loved an apple crumble after dinner. No, no, I don't think you're picking <laughs> up. I knew she was being a dirty bitch here. I was just being like, mate, I'm all about that peach pie, baby. Face first in the peach pie. Would you make a move? Fuck yes, obviously. Oh, oh, do you, oh okay. Uh, obviously. Change your gears. Uh... You know me. Yeah. Oh, she's she's a minx. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd pick a moment and kiss you. You'd land right on my lips. What? Do you um, do you have a rule of thumb of how far you'd go with someone the first time you were intimate? What do you mean no. by rule of thumb? We're gonna fuck this up okay, because which base generally do you go to the first time? I don't know, mate. I don't know what fucking base means. Is this an American thing? Because in England, I'd, I'd, I've heard of first, second, third base and all that shit, but 
Mate, you gotta use fucking plain language with me. I don't know the fucking cold words. I'm not MI5, I'm not MI6. You need to just say, yeah. Are you gonna fucking kiss them? Are you gonna fucking finger blast them? Are you gonna fuck them? Are you gonna, I don't know, bum them? I don't, what, what's, what the fuck's, fir- what's fourth base? Well, what's first base? Is first base nothing? What is, I imagine first base got to, base has got to be a kiss. Second base has got to be a finger blasting or, or, or a hand job. Third's got to be sex. Fourth, what's fourth? Fucking S and M. I didn't know. I didn't have the answer to this. So let's see. The thing is, though, I don't actually have a rule. I don't. I, I like I've said in the last place. I don't have a rule how far I go on the first date. Like. If it's natural that I hang out with the back of them, then I'm gonna hang out with the back of them. Like I, I don't know, I don't know. It, it, I think this girl. I don't want to fuck this up with this girl. So I'd say. I'd say let let's. I, I want to play it safe. I'm gonna say first base. What sec? Wait, let's Google this because I don't. What what second base? What is second base? Is second base kiss? It's got. Shut up, man! Have you heard this? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Second base is when a guy feels up a female's breast over clothing. Mate. So, okay. First base is a kiss. Second base is touching each other over the top of clothing. Third base is a hand job or fingering. And fourth base is sex. Okay, so... I cannot believe touching people over clothing. Listen, mate. If you're touching each other over clothing... Guaranteed. I couldn't give a fuck who you are. Guaranteed. It's a third base. Second base and third base should be the same thing. Because if the first one happens, the fucking next one does. And you know what? It's probably probably sexist as well. But anyways, I'm going to go with... You're familiar with the bases, right? First, Not second, really. Third, fourth. Third, yeah, four bases, yeah? I'm going to say first base because um, I think she's a classy lady. A nice I think kiss that's... is usually more than enough for me to start with. Okay, that's very cute. But <gasps> I'd probably be up for more than that, especially... Oh fuck! We've misread her so much. Wait there. Fuck. Fuck. We've misread that so much. I need to like. I misread. I I need to fucking tell you what we'll do. Shit. Wait there. Let me see if I can load the, load this save. But let me see if I can. Bash bash. I'm just copy and pasting this bad boy new folder. Right, hold on. Right, let me just exit the game here. Let me exit the game because we just want to find out the absolute filthiest thing she's going to say. Right, wait there. Resume. It's the big... Oh, boy, we can. Nice. Right, come on, let's get back to that point. Maybe some nice wine. Who's cooking? Ba 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 bam Yeah. Really, do you go to the first time? Fourth base, hanging straight out the booty. First, second, third, fourth. Yeah. Yeah, Four bases, yeah. Um, All the way. That's the true answer I would would actually give in real life. I'd be up for a night together. Seriously? I mean, yeah, if the vibe's there, then why not? Truth. Yeah, you got the wrong girl, Vinny boy. Challenger. Challenger. So you wouldn't be up for anything? Really? Bitch! So you wouldn't even be open to it, even if we had a great connection by then? I've never gone that far with someone the first time. It's just, yeah, it's not my vibe. See, oh, what a stupid... Now, is do you know when people have stupid little rules in their life? It's like, the, the when people put their own barriers in their lives, it the only person it causes misery for is the person with them rules. Mate. Sort your fucking head out. Okay, right, right. So this girl, basically, basically what this girl's saying is, on a first date, she wants you to finger the fuck out of her. So tell you what we're going to do. We're going to fucking exit the game again. <laughs> this girl, this girl just wants to be finger blasted. She's so filthy. It's the- right, let's get back to that point again. It's her, this is game is hilarious. I love it. Maybe some nice wine. Yeah. Oh, I- Really, do you go to the first? Third base. You're she wants a good fingering. Bases, right? Come on, baby. First, second, third, fourth. <laughs> so, yeah, four bases, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> oh my god, you dirty girl! Okay, if we if we keep talking the way we have been, then I th- I think we'd be comfortable to go pretty far. Wow, well, Mister. I mean, what can I say? It's yeah, been she's loving it, isn't she? Tell me about it. Um, but you'd still have to be very lucky and hope that I have. A so basically, on a first day, she'll only nice. want you off. Wine and chocolate, and you could have a chance. Okay. So, I have a question. If this goes somewhere, what do you, what do you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? Not a clue no, what I that can't is. Say I have. Okay, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. I think it's a lot of shit, mate. So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. Okay, then... Anxious, preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you never get it. Nah. Okay, that sounds painful. Next. Dismissive avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to anyone. No. Okay, and the fourth is... Fearful, avoidant, dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. What the fuck? So wait there, did she just say there's four attachments in a relationship, right? But three out of the four aren't even a re- what you'd have in a relationship? What the fuck? Maybe, what? The only valid one out of all them was the first one, which was, what was it called? Secure, where it was like, you're, you're comfortable in a relationship. Well, I, that's the whole point of a fucking relationship. If you aren't comfortable in a relationship, then it's not a fucking relationship, is it? So my, my theory on that is the attachment styles are a load of fucking shit. Like, if, if, that, if that's what they actually mean, mate, it's a, it's a, the playing this game is a school day because I've never heard of any of this shit. Okay, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? Yeah. Obviously the first one. I'm secure these days, okay. but yeah. careful, some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. Well, I'm secure because the other three are dog shit. Okay, um, let me just think about those options. Um, think about it long and hard. It's, it's not really a difficult choice, is I'd it? I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now, and... I feel like I'm very available overall. Okay, so theoretically, if I went on a hen do with my girls abroad, would you? Couldn't give a fuck. Annoyed if I went no, crack on. No, no. That I think that's what she's getting getting with do. I, I think it's yeah. Like if my last my last if she wants to go fucking anywhere, mate, crack on, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna have a nice night in by myself. Like I don't care. Like I I I think when people say they they. Do they trust someone enough to let them go anywhere? Like, I, I trust my lass, I trust my girlfriend, but on the same, I don't put that trust as a burden on her. Because, in my opinion, if my lass does go out and do something, then she's went out and done something, and I'll end the relationship. Like, you can't control people, so don't try. Because, again, that's a barrier that you're putting in yourself on your own life that's only going to cause you pain. Because it's, it's, a, it's a standard that you... You can't control. So the thing that I control is, is if my last wants to go out on holiday with the girls, or if she wants to go out on a hen night or anything, all all you're going to get on my behalf is crack on, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you when you get home. Bang, I'm going to have a lovely night in. And I expect the same. Like, if I want to go out with the boys, I don't, I don't want anyone being jealous that I'm going out. Like, that's a shit relationship. So that's my views on the situation anyway. No, no, like... I trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but one hundred percent. Go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And radio silence is just unkind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people. But yeah, I agree. What's that? No headphones. Um, so that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they like them. Yeah, but like, well, well, he, well, I thought the fucking context was about relationships and stuff we're talking about. Obviously, everyone can be different relationship styles. If you, you gotta be different relationship styles if you didn't fucking like someone, aren't you? I did not know. I've got any idea. This guy's, this girl's too psychological for me. It could be asked. And their attachment styles. I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations make you wonder if you're good enough, right? 
So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, a whole lot. Oh, I see what she means. I get it, I get it. No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. I get it now. I understand what she's called. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I kind of agree with that. I think a different... I, I, earlier when I was I was a young gun, I think I had different attachment styles. So, like, you could have been in the attachment style where you're an arsehole because you don't particularly care about the other person. And then I, I've also been in an attachment style where I've liked someone more than they've liked me. So oh, I understand it, but... The best one, the one that everyone should strive for, is the confident one. But the only person that can control that is you, which I've just said. Oh, yeah, man, this is enlightening shit, this. Yeah, the secure one, is it, it, it's, it just comes with confidence. And I think the older you go, the more confidence you get. So, yeah, confident. Just be who you fucking are. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real-life distractions to fall back on. I, I, I have to say, I'm glad. I am glad, though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too. And I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating app. Yeah, um, I'm ready for a hand job. Numbers. Yes. Why would you say no? Don't leave her hanging. Oh, there we go. We're in bed with her. You, you. Oi, oi. Don't hug the duvet. Oi, oi, Savaloi. And forgive me if I fall asleep on the call. Quite tired. Well, that's all right. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you could be a snore. No, I don't. How do, what do you mean I look like I could be a snore? <laughs> You've just got something about you. I... I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about it. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. Yeah, weird stroke habits? myself. I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed. I get in the duvet. <laughs> I just sleep. Oh, or... that's a problem. I'm very... I move a lot. <laughs> I'm very, I mean, I starfish. I don't... Oh, this guy, this guy falls asleep every time a girl to talks to him. I'm a bit disappointed that there's no, because, ah, what did I say? Oh, no, they didn't make the game. There's a game I played, which I can't remember what it was called, but you actually, there was a full scene where you got to watch a girl finger blast herself. Now, he didn't say anything explicit. He just saw, like, a, um, a facial expressions. But it was also an interactive movie game. Ah, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed you don't get to see any of that in this. I was, I was hoping for it. But yeah, I think, I think out of all the girls, this girl here is the, the right choice. Now I know people are different, and people want different things. But in my opinion, this is the, this is the girl that I would choose out of everyone we've seen so far because she's the most normal and on the same wavelength ish as me she's a bit clingy and a bit bunny boiler ish but i think they had to throw that in for the character yeah, but then again i think i think a lot of girls are a bit bunny boiler ish because i don't know because if you do love something a lot you do kind of want to protect it so i, I can see why i can't see why but yeah, okay, so that's another playthrough done of... Right, we're going to skip the credits, because we've already seen them in the first playthrough. So dates failed for, yeah, we fucked up loads of dates. We, we actually fucked up both of the, the side girl dates that we weren't interested in, because we were only interested in completing her storyline. But that's good, because that means I, I, I'm probably going to go through. I, in fact, I know I am. I'm going to go through and do all the dates for all the girls. It might be a bit harder for me to do the dates for the other girls, because... That's so full of bullshit. I, I'm not one, I'm not very good with other people's bullshit. But we're going to have to just entertain them to get their good endings. So, okay. Bang. Two successful dates with the two dates with her. Right, lads. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the second playthrough of this. Where we dated Grace. And I'll see you in another one where we do another... I think the next girl I'm going to do is... The... Do you know what it is? I want to do the vegan one, because I think that'll be the fucking funniest shit ever. We're going to do the vegan girl, then we're going to do Jessie J, then we'll do the girl with the baby. We'll do the one that... <laughs> sorry. I'm not even sorry. I'm, I'm just saying sorry for the sake of saying sorry, but I just simply wouldn't go out with a girl that had a child. That's just my preference, and you wouldn't... Nah. I'm not about to be looking after nobody else's baby. Sorry. Right, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.